Okay, here's another installment. I want to touch on a little bit today. I don't want to get into conspiracy theories, but it seems that even though we're talking in Obamacare about preventive medicine, what I've read so far really is just about more managed care. It's like the, the government and the media and everybody is telling you that, well, health insurance is a, is a right and it's something that we all have to have. Well, we could debate that, but the thing is that I don't know that we really all need to be managed in, in the way that, that they're talking about. <clears throat> it's almost like we don't get to grow up anymore. People are never going to become adults. They have to be taken care of. Something has to be done for them. And really, I, I see the only answer as being where we teach people to take care of themselves. It, it seems that we're allowed, even more so than ever before, to, in a sense, do whatever we want, and then somebody will be there if we fall. And that's not a bad concept. I'm not, I'm not really trying to get down on that. But I think there's a better way to do things, and that's taking care of yourself. Lifestyle makes that much of a difference. If you eat real food, you're going to get a different result than if you eat the junk food that's out there. Sure, you can stay alive eating fast food and eating prepared and processed foods. You can stay alive by getting what's generally regarded as safe, which is the classification, uh, taking in small amounts of organic pollutants and parasites and bacteria and virus. I mean, you can get along and you can stay alive. But you also have to live with disease. You have signs and symptoms coming up. You've got then a need for medication. You've got a need for outside control. You then do perhaps have a need for health care. You need somebody to manage your physiology. Well, you can really do better yourself. As I've said before, the body is a symphony, and there's no better conductor than you. It does make a difference what you choose to eat. It does make a difference if you're physically active. If you spend most of your time sitting in front of the the TV or some screen, if you spend most of your time uh, doing other things and then just for convenience cracking open a cellophane package, which itself contaminates the food. I'm not saying that we have to live perfectly, but you can do so much to not get stuck in managed care. Managed care really is that. It's giving the management of your own body off to somebody else. I mean, this is something that, that is you. It's, it's what you're living in. Your body is, to me, sacred. Not necessarily just religiously, but it should be important to you. And handing over its care to someone else, although it may sound like a better way to go, I don't see it work out that way much at all. We see a lot of people in the clinic with chronic disease, and that chronic disease had a mechanism. It had a cause. It had a path that people went down. And unfortunately, in managed care, most of the time, you're not, nothing is addressed until it's fulminant, right? Until you've really created and, and come to a point where the disease can be diagnosed and then treatment is given through drugs or surgery. I'm not saying this is bad. It's good if somebody gets a bit out of control that we have ways to help them out. However, the average person, most of us, really can do much better staying away from all that. And this is possible. We know now more than ever before with the understanding the level of understanding of genomics and, and how lifestyle impacts you, that you have control. By many conservative groups and scientists, you have 80% to 90% of the control. We now know that 99% of your genome is actually a reactive control. Your, your genetics aren't saying that something is hardwired. We now know that it takes several genes and an environment to create a problem or to create a success. So with that level of understanding, it, it shows us that your lifestyle has to come first. So if you don't learn how to take care of yourself, you're going to be brought into the managed care system. You're going to be dependent on that system. Somebody's going to have to pay for it. It may be you. It may be others. Somebody's going to have to put it all together. And unfortunately, it takes the focus off health. It really does. It pulls the focus from, from a state of wellness to, okay, how do we manage this disease process that's underway? The better answer is to never have the disease process start in the first place. So 
We're going to keep going with these videos. 2014, I'm making the year of the change. We all have our resolutions to do. I want you to stick to them. Again, nobody's asking for perfect, but just little changes can make such a big effect. We do we put together and do a cleanse. We'll talk about that in the future. And it's not a, a cleanse, it's a hardship. I don't want you to be spending your time on the toilet. I don't want you to feel horrible because you're on a cleanse. But if you give your body a chance, a rest period, and you give it some nutrients, it'll actually clean out stuff that was interfering with function. And you're avoiding disease. If you eat some good food to balance the bad food, you've actually handled some of the disease processes that you might have experienced with a different path. If you are physically active, I don't mean just, well, I walked around the house today. I don't mean being busy at work and going to the copy machine a few times. I mean you have to do some exercise for, for somewhat extended periods that's a bit challenging. You can get benefit from simple physical activity, even fidgeting, but there's going to be much more benefit if you go out of the comfort zone a little bit and you get your body to adapt so that it works better because your body does that. It actually rebuilds itself according to your demands. And if your demands are sit on the couch and watch TV, that's pretty soon going to be what you're capable of doing. So this is Dr. Vince Balanzi. Pick up my book, Health Recklessly Abandoned, if you want to follow along with these videos. We're going to talk about things in my book. I wrote the book to illustrate to people how they can do this, how they can design a lifestyle that actually avoids and prevents disease instead of getting caught up in the whole managed care system. Hopefully it's not a conspiracy, but you got to wonder when they set up a disease and then they find a cure for it time and again if there's something underlying or, or some other agenda. Just put that out there for you to think about. Again, this is Dr. Vince Balanzi. We'll talk to you soon. There'll be more videos. Stay tuned to this channel. Thanks for listening.